a little clip in the 61-62 uh, yearbook that I think summed up our uh, 61 team. I wasn't on the 62 team, and I'd like to uh, share that clip with you. As the call came for the 61-62 season of the cross-country competition, no one regarded the Hornets to be contenders for national honors. By the time the season drew to a close, Coach F.G. Fran Welch had molded the runners into one of the most competitive teams in the history of the Kansas State Teachers College. The Hornet Harriers annexed the top small college title by winning the national cross-country meet, which was held in Omaha, Nebraska. The Hornets totaled, totaled 73 points and led the nearest rival by two. Fort Hayes State placed second with 75. The distance runners established a fine record of not having been defeated in dual meets all season. Wins were evident over such competition as Wichita University, University of Omaha, Air Force Academy, Fort Hayes State, Graceland College, and Central Missouri State. In two outstanding invitational meet, meets, the East State Harriers placed second in the Wichita Invitational and third in the Oklahoma State meet. To add to their accomplishments, Coach Welch guided his team to an unprecedented victory in the annual Central Intercollegiate Conference meet. We talked about people who could inspire uh, Coach Fran Welch was one of those that could kind of inspire. Um, we talk about our uh, priceless moments. This is this is a priceless moment for me. This has been a, a really great run. Uh, talking about Emporia connections. Uh, my wife Rosie's here. We we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary last year. We were married in Emporia and our daughter was born here in Emporia. So we have some good connections here. I have another priceless moment. Coach Pat Shanlack from Ellsworth High School, my high school coach. spirit we know, but I uh, wish he could have been here today. In 1961, I don't know if Lynn was with, with us at that time or not at the motel the night before the meet, but uh, we were talking to some kids from uh, Central Connecticut College, and one of them uh, didn't look much like a runner, but uh, he was bragging that he was going to win the race the next day, and he did. <laughs> in 1962, he was back, and uh, we had a little more respect for him, but Ireland Sloan beat him that day, and was a national champion. Uh, great bunch of guys here. Uh, I wish the others could have been here with us today, but that wasn't a possibility. I know John Canyon was inducted into the Kansas Hall of Fame uh, a week ago, and it was a great honor for him. And, uh, we wish the rest of the team could have made it, but it didn't work out. Uh, we really appreciated our days here at Emporia State. And Fran Welch, uh, motivator. Uh, we sometimes, when he wasn't around, he wasn't listening to call them pool table legs. But, uh, <laughs> we had a little more respect for him than that, really. But uh, he, uh, he pointed the way, and we pretty much uh, didn't have much choice but to go whatever way he all the support that we received back then through the university that we appreciate and we're 
we're so glad to be here today and proud to be here today. And again, Ireland and Fran not with us, but I know they're 